This video today is brought to you by Canning Equipment in Ohio, and today we'll take a, take a look at some hitch settings. From the run page, we can simply click on our rear hitch, and that will take us into our hitch settings. So we have five hitch settings that we can change. The upper limit, which is basically how high the three-point hitch is allowed to raise. We can change the speed of the drop rate and also the speed of the raise rate. We can also control the load depth. So if we were pulling a tool such as a three-point ripper, if the engine load becomes high enough when this is turned on, it will actually start picking the ripper up out of the ground little by little. We also have slip sensitivity, which functions very similar to the hitch load depth, only it looks at wheel slippage. If wheel slippage becomes too excessive, it will start raising the three-point hitch little by little in order to reduce slippage. So with any of these settings here, the yellow indicator is going to be where each one of those is currently set at. So if I wanted to change the raise rate, for example, I could simply click on it and then use the minus and the plus arrows to change that setting and then simply close out. So I could also do that for hitch load depth. So this is currently off. If I wanted to turn that on, I can change it anywhere between one and five as far as how sensitive the tractor is. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off and then close out. One item that they added back on these final tier four tractors, they've also added some of the control knobs for the three-point hitch back. So we can also adjust our load depth there. And even if we're on the tractor run page, we can simply just turn the knob and we can see that setting changing with a pop-up window at the top. So I can adjust my upper limit and also my drop rate as well. 